Hey there, dailies. I am here with an Arduino Christmas light controller update for 2019. Now, I ordered another Arduino, and uh, I'm going to do several videos because I want to show you some different stuff. But um, this one here, the 2560, Mega 2560, this is the one to get. If you notice here, um, that crystal is right there in the middle. Some are over here, but that's the one you want to get. You want to get it with the crystal here and the two capacitors over here. And this one works great. Um, this is a clone, of course, Arduino, but it's it's good. I have another clone that works quite well. But anyway, getting into what I'm going to talk about today, I'm just here at the workbench, and I am making um, extensions on my lights. So, this one's done. And I'm going to do the next candle. And so I got an extension cord that I've had for some time, nice and long. And I'm going to use it for this one right here. And basically, I'm going to snip the end off. Snip the end off this because it just isn't long enough. It's only about four feet, and I gotta have it longer to get inside to the controller box. So, that's what I'm going to do, and I did it to that one, and I'll show you as I go along. So, I have cut the end off the extension cord, and I'm thinking this is a 16 gauge, and it is too, it's stamped in at 16 too, because it's a little thicker than the 18 gauge wire, and a lot of people use 18 gauge wire. You can, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, there was a Noma extension cord, and they use 16 too on that so uh, but anyway now what will I do with these you'll say well I could use them for plugs or whatever on another end of for lights but what I do is I just join them like that and make a short little piggy tail and I can use them either in the controller uh, box or I can use them for whatever I want they're just like mini mini extensions so these come in really handy down the line so what you want to do is find your ribbed wire and your other ribbed wire. When I find it here, I think it's one of them. Can't tell. It is it is this one. Okay, so two rib wires. So we join your two rib wires and your other ones. And so to start off, um, you sort of crisscross them like so. So you want to have them so that they're joining like that. Not so that they're like joining like that and you have to bend them back. You don't want to do that. That's not the proper way to do it. So the proper way to do it is bend them around one another just like you're tying something together. So you get a little wire like that. Okay. And then what I do is I do the two of them then I solder it. Solder them together so you get a nice solid solid piece. But before you do that, and I gotta take this one apart because um, I didn't put it on, is slip a little piece of shrink wrap over the top of it, or heat shrink, I guess you want to call it that. And um, then you heat that up and uh, look good as new. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have joined them together. I got the heat shrink tubing slid down over there, ready to go. So now we will solder these suckers together. Now, a little trick I learned. Now, this is kind of embarrassing to say. Um, I've been in electronics for years. Um, it's my background. It's what I took in college and, uh, you know, electronics engineering and technician and all that kind of stuff. Never have I ever used a pair of vice grips to weight something down and hold it when I'm soldering. I learned this off a YouTube video from uh, the channel called D. Higginbotham. And D does, um, I think that's his name, or maybe it's his wife's name. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So Mr. Higginbotham, <laughs> we'll say, he did the our original Arduino uh, lighting controller. He does it very detailed, a build of them right from the ground up. Um, and he used a pair of vice grips to hold a power jack while he soldered a small wire to it. And I thought to myself, holy crap. You know, what a great idea. How come I've never thought of that in all my years of working and soldering and all that? I don't know. I just never did it. Um, because they will actually hold it and they have weight, so they're not going to really move that much. Um, so, yeah. So, it's a great, it's a great uh, 
great way to do it. So anyway, now that that's in, if there's any little uh, pieces sticking up, just uh, nip them off. And we can just slide our heat shrink tubing up over the joins, just like so. Okay, now how we activate that, you can use a hot ear, uh, a hot ear gun or paint stripper gun or something like that. That can get very hot and you can burn yourself. You can also do it uh, another way here. I gotta put these things on down here. Um, so that uh, it'll work, but you don't wanna burn yourself either doing it this way. And uh, so be very careful and um, use a lighter. Just use a lighter. And what it does, it heats this up and shrinks it down to conform around the wire and around your joint. That's all you have to do because you're just doing this so it doesn't short out. That was hot. Um, it doesn't short out when they touch. That's all we're doing this for. This is the only reason we're heating this up. And that don't burn. It will burn if you keep the heat on it long enough. That's starting to torch a little bit there. Um, but what we're doing uh, this for is just so when they touch, they won't touch if they do touch. Now, what we're going to do, that heated up so much that it actually melted the solder within. Wow. But it's okay. It'll it'll form, it'll solid up again. Um, what we're going to do is uh, just plug it in, make sure it works, and then we'll electric tape this and this and then all over it. Just to give it a good solid uh, finish. I mean, you could put another piece, a big piece of, of um, shrink tubing over it. But uh, the tape will work fine, and uh, it's just to keep it from uh, the elements getting in. Now, why I made a longer cord, instead of running an extension cord to it, the whole purpose of that was longer, so that I can run this to the control box in the garage, and I don't have to uh, worry about, you know, connections being outside. Um, also, it'll make it harder for someone to try to steal it, nick it, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, so let's just put that candle light here and we'll just plug them in the test power bar here. And he should light up. And he does. Look at that. Now, these, these um, candles. Yeah, these candles. I got them at the Value Village for, well, I think it was like $3 a piece. And I got two or three of them. And um, besides that, ah, little bug running across there that I don't want. Um, for about $3 each. And that wasn't bad. Um, I found two of them in the garbage on the roadside one day. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, the bulb sockets were just uh, corroded and rusted and uh, they didn't work and they just uh, threw them out. So I collected them and put new sockets in them and away we go. So that's what I'm doing now is just finishing these up. I got four of them to do. Two of them are done. Um, and then um, I'll take you to the rest of the stuff. Okay, that's the ones I just wired up. Now... We're going to flip over here. I put all my decorations right up here close to the garage door this year. Uh, for the light show, that is. Um, just to try it. So, um, candles will go on those stakes there. The snowman. We have the toy soldiers and we have the blow-up snowman. And two more candles there. And then we go over here and we have one, two, three sets of three candy canes. I have a fourth set. Um, but the... They don't have stakes on them yet, so um, maybe get them out, not sure. And I run some wires, I looped it down around, and then in underneath the pad of the garage floor. And one is too short, so I'm going to have to make him longer. Um, and of course, they all come in and go in to the Arduino relay control box. Now, this black wire here is the USB connection to the computer which is upstairs and I have that running up and through so I've got about 30 about 45 feet I think of USB cable coming down to that now next spring summer 
when it gets warmer this container is going um, because it's more of a prototype to see you know it's my first build so I'm going to build it in to that wood shelf area right there I'm going to build another little box and fit it right in there and it'll be in there and then the plugs will be face front here so I just pull them out and plug them in and everything will be built in and solid so uh, this year there was a lot of uh, well I guess you want to say fuckery of getting things done uh, for the first time extending power cords um, stuff like that and repairs uh, this poor blow up got more duct tape on him than he does fabric so it's kind of like oh you know whatever it's not piecemeal but it is kind of piecemeal this year until I get things done in the spring and reorganize and redo everything I just really want to try out this controller so that being said I'm gonna go put the candles on here wire everything up and I'll be right back